With over 70 different designs, the 50 pence piece has become the most collected and valued coin in the UK. Well, now avid collectors can add a brand new 50p to their collection as a series of Harry Potter coins have just been launched by the Royal Mail. Well, we're joined now by pawnbroker Dan Hatfield uh, to tell us more. Hello, lovely to see you. Nice I to see you. I didn't realise how popular this was. 82% of us are collectors. That's right, 82% of us. We are actually the most collectible nation in the world. Really? Yep, and 50 pence pieces top the collection, so apparently one in three of us collect 50 pence pieces. And I'm one and of them. And you're one of them? I am, yeah. I love them. Works and out perfectly. That's the stat, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it and they're great because they are just so accessible. Mm. You know, if you start out collecting, the initial cost is going to be 50 pence in some cases. Yeah. So it's something that all of us can get into. So this is the Harry Potter one. Is this yeah. the newbie? So this is the Harry Potter one. Look Everyone... at his colour. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, no, they did No, colour. no, they did I. Oh, now, so this isn't going to go into circulation. This is a commemorative coin. Ah. Uh. Um, but it's to celebrate 25 years of Harry Potter being on our screens. I mean... Everybody loves Harry Potter. Yeah. And at the moment, this one's starting at £11, but there is a gold one. I want the gold one, but I don't know if I can quite afford it yet. It's £1,195 for the gold wow. one. Yeah. And is it... So, but if you're thinking to yourself, right, I'm going to buy that, I'm going to invest in that, is it an investment? I mean, is it something that in a few years' time, because it's such a collectible thing, will be worth more, ultimately? Holly, no one can tell for sure, that's the thing. But, yeah. as an educated guess, 50 pence pieces have captured the nation's hearts. So, you know, ever since the Olympics 2012 and we started bringing out loads of different ones, mm. everybody's now collecting 50 pence pieces. If I was going to put my money into them, which I am doing, I would put it into 50 pence pieces. And the Harry Potter ones, it's a £25 billion franchise. So wow. No We're wonder if they're getting colour 50 p's for 11 quid. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice, though. Isn't it, it is lovely. It's I've lovely. not seen that one before. It's, it's great. It's what you got next? So, we've got Beatrix Potter. Yeah. Everybody loves Beatrix Potter. Yeah. Reminds me of my childhood. Well, yeah, I mean, I love it. Um, these aren't worth quite as much. So, these are actually cir circulated, um, and you could actually get these in your change when you buy something. So they're really, really accessible. Yeah, they're really accessible and they can go from between sort of six to ten pounds. So um, imagine a 50p investment and you get ten quid back. It's brilliant, isn't well, it? Well, can you imagine receiving one of those? Like getting one in your hand going, oh my God, it's got... But it happens all the time. Well, you've got to make Never sure you look, it. don't you? Because you actually don't yes. know what's passing yeah. through your hands. Well, this is the thing. A lot of people don't look. You've got to check the 50 pence pieces because if one of those goes, you've effectively thrown away ten quid. So you've just got to be careful and make sure, yeah, you know... Yeah, keep an eye out exactly. Very good, like that. So what have you got here? What's the next one? Is this the so, oh, this is the Olympic? This is what started yeah. me collecting 50 pence pieces. These are the 2012 Olympics. So back in 2012, in the run up to the Olympics, every sort of sports discipline was given its own coin, um, and you've got all sorts here. But the ones that I love are the judo and the triathlon. Now, these can still be found in your change, and the judo one is worth £35. The, Let me tip uh, that forward a little bit, because it's shiny. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And the triathlon one is £50. Oh, my gosh, oh they're all dropping they're all out. Every time now I come here, you destroy my things. Now it's... Here am I being helpful for reflection. <laughs> now it's, you're trying to it's tipping <laughs> point. <laughs> It's not that game. You anyway, might have missed. Oh, Aside from all of these, these two are worth thirty-five pounds. So you've got the judo one, and you've got the triathlon one for yeah. fifty pounds. Okay. Now, if they don't get destroyed and scratched like you've just done, they yeah, can all yeah. be worth quite a bit. Thankfully, of money. they're all in plastic, which they're is fine. very lucky. They're fine. Don't worry. Uh, next one. This one is right. worth lots of money, isn't it? Now. This one is the holy grail of 50 pence pieces. Mm -hmm. You can tell I'm getting a bit excited about right, it. Yeah. Don't touch I'm it. Not, touch do not, it. I'm not touching it. it. If this balls. <laughs> so at the moment, this is worth between 800 and 1,000 pounds, this one. Wow. I mean, so it's beautiful, So what's special about this one? OK, so it's a good, good question, Phil. So it hasn't been circulated, so it is in pristine condition. But the reason why the um, Q Garden coin is worth so much is that only 210,000 were made. Right. Which sounds like quite a lot it's for something not. to be worth... How much did you say it was worth? Well, um, uncirculated, 800 to 1,000. But even if it's been circulated, even uh... if you find it in your pocket, you could still get 150 to 200. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So there is a difference. There's if you've a difference. never used it, then it's 
yeah. especially. Yeah, and that's the important thing in coin collecting and 50p collecting. Yeah. If they've been used, it does devalue the coin because uh -huh. it's got scratches and it's not in pristine condition. So uh, well, how would you get hold of one that's never been in circulation then? How would you have found that? So one? you could buy them from eBay, Etsy, other sort of outlets. There are coin collecting sites that you can buy as well. There's lots of ways that you can buy them, but the beauty about collecting 50 pence pieces is that you might actually have one behind the back of the sofa. Yeah. And that's what I'm sort of saying. It's like, quite exciting. Yeah. How do you know, though, like, if you're buying something like that, how do you know it's real? How do you know it's not a fake? Good question. So, 50 pence piece coins weigh eight grams. It's really, really hard for the fakers to actually get the exact weight, the exact circumference, and the exact thickness. So if you are looking at a coin, have a look at a generic 50 pence piece mm -hmm. next to that coin, weigh them. If they both weigh eight grams, and they're both the same sort of measurements, then you're onto a winner. And the other one is they can't really fake the crisp preciseness of the images. So mm. just get one that's real on the internet, have mm. a look at them, and just do your research with them. Okay. And so, um, and fakers, I'm assuming, would go for things like this. Absolutely. I mean, the, the initial outlay for something like that might be 50p to make, mm. but you imagine a faker can get 800 to 1,000 pounds. It's, the yeah. market is rife. So be very careful. Mm. What's this gold one? You this don't is beautiful, gold isn't it? 50p, do you? Again, not in circulation. So the Olympic ones are in circulation. These are 1994 and they are gold commemorative 50 pence pieces. Now, they're a lot of money at the moment. They're fetching about £2,000 each. Wow. Wow. However, to put it into context, in 1994, when these were created, they cost about £280. <gasps> So it, back to my first question when I said, it, will these things be worth more later date? Yeah. Well, these ones are. Exactly. And it's all about sort of doing your research and yeah. finding out what might go up in value. Gold always goes up. I mean, it kind of flutters throughout, but it, it just goes up. So they're but are they things. gold? I mean, are they actually they're made of gold? They're 22 carat gold. Oh, wow. 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 wow, 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 wow. So they're pretty special. I mean, yeah. Okay. And when do we begin to see the first King Charles coins? Good question, Phil. So it's December. This, I'm looking forward December. to that, yeah, Is December. It? Yeah, and the Harry oh, Potter wow. commemorative ones, at the moment they've got the Queen on the back, but they're going to, uh, they're releasing three more, one more with the Queen on the other side, and then Charles next year is going to be on the back of those. Right. That's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing.